What's up you guys? It's Sarah at carnivore.yogi on Instagram. Thank you so much for coming on to my YouTube channel. Please hit subscribe while you're here. So there are a lot of carnivore ice cream recipes out there, all of which include dairy. So I have been someone who just still isn't really able to tolerate dairy and I feel a lot better without it. So I was really excited to come across this recipe. Now I'm going to link my friend Becky below so you can go to her YouTube channel. That is where I originally found this recipe, but I've had a ton of requests for me to go ahead and also make a video um, to show you guys this carnivore ice cream. So let's go ahead and get started. Dairy free carnivore ice cream. So incredibly easy to make. All right, so let's go ahead and go over those ingredients. The first thing that you will need is some beef suet, or you can have just regular beef tallow if you've already bought gotcha, but um, this is the beef suet. I'm actually gonna show you guys how to render it down because you're going to need rendered beef suet for ingredient number one. Ingredient number two would be some egg yolks. Now you guys know how I feel about white oak pastures, but you can use egg yolks from anywhere. I will link white oak below because they do ship all over the United States, but again, you don't necessarily have to use those. And you will also want a little bit of salt. I prefer my Redmond salt. You can also use a Celtic or a pink Himalayan. And then you're gonna want something to sweeten your ice cream with. So glycine is a really great option if you don't want to use any sort of sweetener. If you're newer to carnivore or you just don't wanna mess around with sweeteners, glycine is a good alternative. I am going to use this stuff, not focus. I will link it below. Um, I have found it does not bother my blood glucose and it doesn't really cause cravings. And I'm not making this ice cream every day. This is just an occasional treat for me. And you can skip all sweeteners completely and just have the ice cream with salt. And I've heard it's pretty good that way too. So make your own decision on that. Okay guys, so let's render this suet down. It is incredibly easy to do, but I figured why not show you guys how to render the suet down. All right, so we're gonna start by turning the burner on like a medium to low and get our nice little chunk of suet. Okay, a good little piece here, okay? This is a nice chunk of suet. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into the pot and just leave it here on like a medium to low. or so in here like 
a little bit goes a long way, okay? Then we are just going to go ahead. This is a Vitamix, so start it on low and gradually speed up. Take it or leave it. This has no salt, but you can try it out for yourself. So try it out, you guys. Comment below. Tell me how you like the recipe, and don't forget to share and subscribe to my channel. Talk to you guys later.